Our environment is a reflection of the way we feel. If you want to know more, then watch this video. Hi, it's Hannah Mindful Mother here, helping you to live your absolute dream life. So guys, our environment is absolutely a reflection of the way we feel. So I'm gonna give you an example. If you wake up, right, you just have some amazing news come in. So someone said, oh my gosh, I've just, you know, you have a, a present and it's an amazing holiday. You open up the book and there's a ticket in there to go halfway across the world on a big adventure or something like that. Or you've just found out you've got that promotion at work. Whatever it is, if you just had some amazing news come in, how do you feel? You feel amazing, right? So when you wake up in the morning, you just go, ah, the day is here. I'm so excited about my day. It's just amazing. Now, if you look around your house at that moment, you won't notice that you have lots of tidying to do or that your house is a mess or that, you know, you've got these things to do, all these bills to pay, all this paperwork to do. It simply won't be an issue because you're feeling so amazing inside you can just cope with everything and you just find that you can just do it. You just manage so easily to just do everything you need to do because you're, you're on top of the world and you're feeling amazing inside. Imagine on the other hand that you're not feeling so good inside. You've just, you know, you're a little bit sad, you're a little bit down, you've not really been doing what you need to do and you just feel like you'll be getting more and more overwhelmed each day. Now remember, we can change this guys and that's what this is all about and I'm gonna help you with that right now. But if you are feeling that, just imagine those days when you're feeling a little bit, no, you're feeling a bit ill. Say it's physically you're feeling a bit ill and just everything's a bit on top of you and you look around your house, what do you see? You see the mess. And you don't feel you can do it. You don't feel you can get on top of it. You feel overwhelmed by the mess. You feel overwhelmed by all the paperwork you have to do. You feel overwhelmed by all the things you have to do that day because you're not feeling good inside. Now, the key to this is, you know, the house could still be a mess, right, when you're feeling amazing, but you won't see it in that way. You will see it as something you can definitely overcome, something that you can, you can make better. But also, even if it stays a mess for the whole day, you it won't affect the way you're feeling. But the key as well is that actually when you see this mess around you and you're feeling amazing inside, then not only does it not affect you in the same way, but you definitely feel that you're gonna take action. You feel so much better about it that you do take action to actually do something about it because you're feeling so amazing. So this is why it's so incredible, right? So you literally then start to take action because you're feeling so amazing and your 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 environment actually isn't doesn't just you don't just start to see it in a different way, which you did start because you were feeling so great that you looked around you didn't really notice the mess so much, it didn't bother you, but you also because you're feeling so amazing, then now you take action to make the situation better. So you go, I'm gonna tidy the house today, or I'm gonna do all that paperwork today, and you just can do it because you're in such a good place. So you're actually taking action. So actually your environment actually does become a reflection of the way you feel. Suddenly the house is tidier. Suddenly those all that stuff that was building up, that pile of paperwork you had to do, gets done. Suddenly you start creating amazing dinners because again, think about it, you're not feeling so well, what do you do? Oh, I can't really, I don't really have time to cook and you end up cooking not such healthy food. What does that do? It makes you feel worse. You start, your environment starts to reflect the way you're feeling. Feel great, what do you do? You feel inspired, you cook good food, you cook lovely desserts, you you make sure you're taking those vitamins or having your um, minerals and or having your spirulina, which I love to take every day, right guys? It's so full of B vitamins and iron and it's just a lovely boost to your system. So whatever it is, you do these things because you're feeling so great and you're in this momentum. And when you're in that momentum of positivity, then you do more things that help more positive things come. That's why it's so incredible. So you're not only feeling good and the things around you are reflecting that feeling, okay? To start with, you don't notice things around you, you just see things in a, in a different light. But also then you start to take action and actually the things around you really do start to improve and really do start to reflect how you feel inside. Now, how do you feel better inside, guys? If you're in a place now that you're feeling great and you've just had this news come in, Brilliant, I'm so happy for you. But if you're in a place where you can, you know that feeling, because we've all had it, right, when that, that great news has just come in and we're feeling on top of the world. But if you're not there right now, then there's ways to get there. 
Now, I always talk about it, but meditation really is the key. Meditation is absolutely fundamental in creating that inner peace, creating that space inside where you just feel wonderful. And when you feel that that good, then your your environment, your outer world, your reality will reflect how you're feeling. So it's creating that inner peace. So meditation is huge, guys. At the end of this video, I'm going to link my morning meditation because then you can start your day with an uplifting meditation. Remember, I have lots on the channel though. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you feel that you want to do the other ones, there's ones for letting go of anxiety and worry that will really help you. Um, there's ones for all oh, those times when you're really struggling. So if you really are in a bad place now, then that'd be the one to do. It will just your, it will allow you to let go of all that negativity and just not be trying to feel better, but you just will feel better because you're just saying, I'm letting go. And it's all about letting go, guys. That's what it's all about. But so I'm going to link my morning meditation at the end of this one. Now, some other things you can do though to get you back in that place, a gratitude practice. So if you wake up every single morning and think about the things you're grateful for and really tune into them and really tune into that feeling as well, then suddenly you are gonna be set up for the day and again, you are now gonna go into your day one step ahead, one step ahead in terms of your vibration because when we are grateful, our vibration raises because we are tuning into the things we're grateful for and it will stay with us for the rest of the day, guys, if you really do it properly. Do it again before you go to bed and you will sleep amazingly and then of course wake up naturally feeling amazing. So it's an ongoing process but these things really work. Now setting your intentions is huge as well. So in the morning you can actually do your I am statements, your affirmations, and setting your intentions and your mantras of I am going to have the best day. I am feeling amazing. You know, say it as you're doing it though, lift yourself up, you know, really stand tall, really, really feel empowered as you're saying these things because it's the feeling that matters. If you need to get your state up, then there's lots of other ways to do it. I'm gonna do another video very soon to show you how you can actually bring your state up to an empowered state if you're feeling a little bit low, which will really make a massive difference as well for those times. I'm also gonna, I'll be sharing with you the change technique, which um, I learned from Joe Dispenza, and also I call it the turnaround technique because I do it slightly differently because I actually like um, saying, I'm gonna turn this around, this isn't loving to me. Um, I've worked that that really, really works for me. It's a really great thing because when you realize that your behavior and the way you're thinking isn't loving to you, then you can turn it around because then you go, I choose not to go down that path, I choose this path, I choose the positive path. Now, all these things I'm talking about, guys, are a practice. All these things, you just need to start off doing them and then you can gradually introduce other things into your day that will really transform your day but it is a process now I've been practicing this for over three years and it's transformed my life it transformed my life right at the beginning when I started practicing meditation very soon within a few weeks I was a different person I was just waking up with so much energy and enthusiasm for my day it definitely was that I was not living in the program anymore of what I thought I should be doing I was now creating my life from the meditations I was doing. Um, then you start practicing all this other stuff like your intention setting, your gratitude, and many, many more things that I will share on this channel. And I also share in my 21 Days to Freedom guide. So if any of you are ever interested in working with me to do the 21 Days to Freedom course, it is absolutely brilliant. I've had amazing testimonials from it. I'm seeing transformation with my clients every single time I run it. It's absolutely amazing. I haven't decided when I'm running the next one, but do show if you express an interest, I will make sure I get you onto my email list and let you know when I'm gonna run the next course. It's absolutely transformational. Guys, as well, if you wanna come and work with me, of course, one-to-one, -one, hey, I'm here for you. I'm absolutely here for you because I've transformed my own life. I have so much to share and, um, I really am truly having amazing testimonials at the moment and I absolutely love it. Just seeing the transformation in my clients is just amazing. Honestly, it just, my, I just, my heart, I want to sing, my heart singing all the time. I feel so much joy. And you know, as I'm learning more and more stuff and I'm practicing this stuff every day, you, the major thing for me is that it's allowing me to be the mum I want to be. It's allowing me 
to really tune into my inner light every day and be the best version of myself, which means I'm being the best mum. And what happens when you're the best mum is your children then pick up on that and they become the best version of themselves too. They will literally just transform as well because they can feel your love so much more because you're in such a great place that the love just comes from you. Your light just shines out to them. You're glowing with that with that joy for life and that and you're glowing with the love you feel for your children and they feel that so much more because there's no negativity there. You're not thinking about your past. You're not thinking about things you've done wrong, right? You're thinking about what you want to create in your life and you're just simply being in the moment and loving the moment. So meditation, meditation, I'm going to link my morning meditation at the end, but really remember that your environment, your reality, your life reflects how you're feeling on the in side guys it's all about that so you need to work at how you're feeling on the inside and meditation is absolutely huge for this gratitude intentions like all those other things i said absolutely but meditation is your first thing you should try and start to do so i'm going to link my morning meditation and i'm sending you all so much love honestly please do remember to subscribe to my channel as well and share with anybody that you think my videos might be helping i'm sending you so much love guys Bye bye